In today's vlog, I want to talk about poker books and the ones that I currently own and the ones that I recommend. So I think you're going to find this valuable. And for a lot of people that haven't read a lot of poker books over the year, you're probably going to find some books here in my stack of books that you might want to take a look at and read. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into it. I've accumulated quite a bit of poker books as you see behind me over the years and so I figured for today's vlog why not switch it up a bit and instead of doing our standard live play or going to play in a casino or playing online or doing hand history reviews I thought why not talk about my books because I have so many because I get a lot of questions from people especially beginners where they're wondering well what are the good books to read what are the good poker books what do you recommend um, and since I've accumulated a fair amount of books over the year over the years, I figured, well, you know what? Let's talk about them. Let's, um, you know, let's try to help our fellow poker players out, and uh, let's do some recommendations. So, as you watch this video, if you have recommendations, definitely post them below because I honestly don't have all the poker books in the world, um, and I only have a handful here. So, we can definitely come up with some good recommendations for our fellow poker players. So, yeah, let's so let's go ahead and let's get into it. So, let's start off at the beginning. And let's start off with the books that I first read. I don't have all of them in front of me. I have Super System. I have Super System 2. I have Phil Hemlet's book. But they're all boxed up somewhere because I don't read them. I feel like they're antiquated books. They're good just to have, you know, as for reference if you ever want to read them. But I don't recommend them for new poker players. So I would stay away from those books even though they are a bit old school books and um, people do recommend them. The only thing I would recommend Super System for is if you're trying different games like Stud, um, PLO and five card draw and things like that because he does talk about that so the different authors talk about other variants of games now in terms of the books that I have let's slide them up over here um, so let's talk about my limit hold'em books because when I first started playing poker back in the days in the early 2000s limit was the main game and there's still a lot of limit games going um, and some people probably want to read some books on Limit because they want to know basic strategy for Limit. So what books do I have? Well, I have Small Stakes Hold'em by Slansky, Miller, and Malmuth. So let me see if I can bring this up a little closer. This is a good book. It's designed for Limit players. Another one that I have for Limit is Winning Low Limit Hold'em by Lee Jones. Again, really like this book. Actually, probably one of my favorite books for Limit for general overall strategy. So I definitely like this book. It's geared for people that play like 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8, and maybe a little higher. And then my last one is in here somewhere. I have to find it. There we go. Ken Warren Teaches Texas Hold'em. So this is an old school book published in 2003. Um, I recommend this book if you can still get it for complete beginners because he talks about super basic things in the game such as reading board textures, counting out, and um, just getting really down to the nitty gritty of the details for really um, beginners coming into the game and people that are probably wanting to get into Limit Hold'em. So even though this is old school, I still recommend this book. I like this book for people getting into Limit. Um, out of all three of these books, I don't think you could go wrong. But of, out of all three of these Limit books, I probably, for a complete beginner, I would start with this book and then probably go to this book and then lastly go to the Ed Miller, Slansky, and Mammoth book on Small Stakes Hold'em. So these are my limit books. Let's move these out of the way. Now let's talk about let's talk about No Limit Hold'em books. What do I have for No Limit Hold'em for general No Limit Hold'em strategy? Well, a couple of books that I don't have in front of me that I have on my Kindle is Building a Bankroll, and I forgot the author's name. I'm Building a Bankroll and The Grinder's Manual by Peter Clark. So one of my number one recommendations is The Grinder's Manual by Peter Clark. Awesome modern theory, no limit hold'em book for beating up to, I'd say, 100 NL online. And probably live games, probably beating up to like 510 um, live games. In terms of what I have for print edition books, I have these four books right here. 
So the first one, I bought this a while ago when I was still in grad school and I wanted to learn some basic strategies. This is really before I got back into playing um, the last few years. It's called Beat the Donks. And he talks about exploitative poker in Vegas playing at the low stakes. I'm not a huge fan of the book. It's not terrible, but I'm not a huge fan of how it's written. So um, don't really recommend this book, but it's available if you want to read it. I have both of Phil Gordon's books. I have his green book and I have his little golden book. Um, out of these two, th he's a good writer. That's why I have him. This one I've actually purchased a very long time ago. I've had this book for a very long time. It's a good read. It's a little antiquated, but I still like it, especially for beginners. And then his little gold book is a more modern take on No Limit Hold'em, so definitely a good book. Recommend this book as well for beginners and people playing live. In terms of um, one of my top recommendations for a print book for No Limit Hold'em, especially full ring, is Dynamic Full Ring Poker by James Blitzsuit Sweeney. And let me see if I can get this to focus all the way over here. Totally recommend, completely recommend this book. This book is awesome. Um, I don't think it, it gets the credit that's due to it. Great book. So any play that wants to play full ring poker, either live or online, uh, for cash games, definitely recommend this for No Limit Hold'em. In addition to the Grinder's Manual by Peter Clark I, Clark, I think these are like probably the two go-to books I recommend the most. And then for somebody that's looking to build up a bankroll, there's a book called Building a Bankroll Full Ring Edition. I don't remember the author's name. You can Google it or go to Amazon, and it's available. So I recommend those three books. All right, so let's talk about tournament books. Let's talk about some tournament books that I have. So, let's take a look. And actually, before we get to the tournament books, let's talk about the godfather of all poker books, the theory of poker. So, any, I would guess, any self-respecting poker player that's been around for a long time probably has his book. I have it. Um, so, there you go. Good read. In terms of sit and goes, probably the de facto sit and go book. I've had this book probably, I would say at least over a decade and it's still a top seller on Amazon so sit and go strategy by Colin Moshman probably the first and most comprehensive book on single table sit and goes um, great book so if you want to get into sit and goes I'd re recommend starting with this book and then looking at different strategy videos online um, to expand your game beyond this book for MTTs I don't have a lot of tournament books because I am a cash game poker player, but I do have Harrington on Hold'em. I've had this book for a long time as well. I'm still highly recommended for a lot of people, so his whole series are recommended, and he's a great writer. Um, and, and it's not only him, but he has another author that, that helps him out as well in these books and helps him with the writing and the strategy and so forth. So I recommend Harrington's books. Now, there are more modern types of books for MTTs, and um, and they're more, I, I guess, a new modern approach to MTTs. I guess you could call this an old school style approach to MTTs. But I still would recommend those books. And I just picked up this book just recently, The Myth of Poker Talent. So the title is a bit misleading um, because this isn't a, a tournament poker book. It's geared towards tournament players. And um, when I read it, when I purchased it, um, I didn't get that from what I read on the back of it. Uh, I bought it not long after it was released. The guy is a great writer. He's easy to follow. The only downside with this is that he uses card runners EVs and he expects you to be more of an active learner. And so he puts these card runner EV um, decision trees in here and they're almost impossible to read because the font is so small. So the images are available online. But if you want to read this and be an active learner, you literally have to be reading with your computer right here and having the card runner EV calculations in front of you. Um, but if you do play MTTs and tournament poker, definitely recommend this book. And then I also have, um, for a math book, I use this to um, kind of do some research and brushing up on my poker math before I wrote the expanded edition to my Central Poker Math book, which I have right here. So, Poker Workbook for Math Geeks. So, this is not as much of a book, but more so a workbook. Um, because there are lots, I would just say, activities that you go through in this book. And let's see if I can get you so you can see them. So, you go through and you just write out and you go through exercises. And a majority of this book is exercises. And the second half of it, from probably like here on out, is the answer key. And so, if you want to... Um, really practice and 
do some extra work with Poker Math, I recommend this book because it's a workbook. Don't get the PDF version, get the print edition because you can mark it up and you want to mark it up because it's designed to be marked up and I'll actually I'll show one of the keys to show you what I'm talking about. So you'll notice that he already has it marked up but where the keys aren't there, you input your information and so in a Kindle edition you can't really put this information. So if you get this book, get the print edition. Um, do not buy the Kindle edition, otherwise you'll probably be a bit upset because you won't be able to use a workbook. Could you imagine buying a math workbook um, and having it on Kindle? I mean, it just wouldn't make any sense. And then, of course, I have my three books, My Central Poker Math, My Fundamentals of Exploitative Poker. Of course, you know, these are um, a couple copies I have, and then a proof copy of my latest book, Essential Poker Math Expanded Edition. So that's currently what I have for print books. I don't have a huge library, but I think I have a decent amount of poker books for somebody that's been playing for a while. And let me stack them up so you can see them a little bit. So my recommendations um, for you are, you know, the books I talked about right here. And then I also have the ones that are on Kindle that I recommend. So if you're watching this video, if you play MTTs, if you play Sid and Goes, if you're a cash game specialist, if you play PLO, if you play, um, if you play Limit Poker, Post in the comments below what you recommend for everybody else. So I want to use this to, as a bit of um, community form for us to recommend to each other books that we recommend and also books that we don't recommend and why. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little episode for today's vlog talking about my poker books. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been over to Micro Grind or Poker School, Go ahead on over to microgrinder.com. Check out all of our free and low-cost resources for you, fellow poker players. So, again, thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day watching my videos on YouTube. And I'll see you guys at our next vlog. So, take care. See you later.